the emerald tablets of Thoth, Jehuti. Thoth fought the Atlantean, the emerald tablets. What we know about the emerald tablets is channeled material from M. Doriel, an American who was active in the 1920s. And, but that is the material of the emerald tablets that I'm most familiar with. Of course, there's a whole other hermetic tradition that discusses Trismegistus, Hermes Trismegistus, the thrice, thrice blessed, but, and that seems to have a little bit more third dimensional validity, if you will, whereas the channeled emerald tablets from M. Doriel, who was in contact ostensibly with the Great White Brotherhood, is considered channel material, but however it has, it was presented to our, for our benefit, it, it is amazing foundational knowledge, spiritual technology knowledge that transcends third dimensional inconsistencies and facts and you know and whatnot whether it was channel material it is clearly obvious that that material is the precursor to any anything that you read in any of the wisdom schools and in fact jesus was considered a variation of Thoth, of hermes of an emissary of light the part of that lineage However, the names of all these individuals in, in antiquity, Thoth, Jesus, Sananda, Enki, and Leo, you know, it is really just a, um, an opportunity to become, uh, to, to lessen your frequency if you're overly worried or concerned about these names. Metatron, who was, who was Enoch, but ascended. God trans, transmuted Enoch from his human incarnation to the mighty angel of Metatron. Is Metatron good? Is Metatron bad? It, it really ultimately does not matter. It's your focus in your own heart center, your own knowledge, and your own vibration ultimately is what all of this is about. And I have only gotten great vibrations and ascending, ascendant knowledge from the emerald tablets, which are part of the emerald founder records. The founder records are also referred to as the emerald covenant, the CDT holographic plates, which originally belong to all of the human 12 tribes and were the principal spiritual teachings that were commonly understood during the Lemurian and early Atlantean timelines. Commonly understood, the spiritual, principal spiritual teachings given to the tribes, the 12 holographic discs, the original emerald founder records containing the basis for describing the consciousness mechanics of reality manifestation and the unification of all expressions with the eternal loving one god source including explicit ancient wisdom teachings on the unifying principles of the cosmic cosmic sovereign law of one and so part of this struggle between the sons of belial and the sons of the law of one, the sons of light versus the sons of darkness. It is ancient, ancient in its struggle. But to really further, I guess, make clear this notion of emerald tablets, emerald founder records, 
uh, what's going on with this drama of Thoth the Atlantean, Jehuti, Thought, Enki, Enlil, this struggle, this warfare. I'm going to share, um, I'm going to share the opening, the landing page for my Umbanda website. And I'm doing so because on that landing page of my website that I'm working on and it's you know, part of the New Earth Ashram for Compassion and Strength, the nonprofit organization. I'm, I've already submitted the paperwork um, for here to be a nonprofit in the state of Texas. <clears throat> but on my opening page, and I'm sharing this because I want you to understand how perennial this knowledge, this spiritual knowledge from these Emerald Founder records are. And I'm going to read to you, and this is, can you do that? This is um, from the Emerald Tablets. Oh, because I'm in edit mode, I guess. I'm going to share. This is how this reads. If you can't see that the words of Jesus, the Christ, what he was talking about in the Sermon on the Mount, uh, also woven in through the many Gospels. I'm going to read to you the, some of the, these words that are within these Emerald Founder records and this knowledge that is knowledge that has been around since, you know, antiquity. But child of the light, and that here I go, here's the heart of my healing. Because I believe this, these words I'm about to share are very vastly important and can be the foundational rock that anyone can set their third dimensional feet upon and solidify their existence and then grow from there. But these are, I call, I call these the heart of my healing that meant so much to me, these words child of the light that has grown among men choose thou thy work for all should must labor never be free from the pathway of light wisdom is power and power is wisdom one with each other perfecting the whole be not proud O man in thy wisdom discourse with the ignorant as well as the wise. If one comes to thee full of knowledge, listen and heed. For wisdom is all. Keep thou not silent when evil is spoken, for truth, like the sunlight, shines above all. He who oversteppeth the law shall be punished for only through law comes the freedom of men. Cause thou not fear, for fear is a bondage, a fetter that binds the darkness to men. Follow thine heart during thy lifetime. Do thou more than is commanded of thee. When thou hast gained riches, follow thou thine heart. For all these are of no avail, avail if thine heart be weary. Diminish thou not the time of following thine heart, it is abhorred of the soul. They that are guided go not astray, but they that are lost cannot find a straight path. If thou go among men, make for thyself love the beginning and end of the heart. If one cometh unto thee for counsel, let him speak freely that the thing for which he hath come to thee may be done. If he hesitates to open his heart to thee, it is because thou, the judge, doeth the wrong. Repeat thou not extravagant speech, Neither listen thou to it, for it is the utterance of one not in equilibrium.
speak thou not of it, so that he before thee may know wisdom. Silence is of great profit, and abundance of speech profiteth nothing. Exalt not thine heart above the children of men, lest it be brought lower than the dust. If thou be great among men, be honored for knowledge and gentleness. I can think of no one more knowledgeable than the late great Basamazulu Baba Kredo Mutwa. Namaste, Namaskaram. If thou seeketh to know the nature of a friend, ask not his companion, but pass a time alone with him, debate with him, testing his heart by his words and his bearing. That which goeth into the storehouse, storehouse must come forth. And the things that are profitable are to him hurtful. He liveth in death. It is therefore his food. The wise man lets his heart overflow, but keeps silent his mouth. O man, listen to the voice of wisdom. Listen to the voice of the light. Mysteries there are in the cosmos that unveiled fill the world with their light. Let he who would be free from the bonds of darkness first divine the material from the immaterial, the fire from the earth. For know ye that as earth descends to earth, so also fire ascends unto fire and becomes one with fire. He who knows the fire that is within himself shall ascend unto the eternal fire and dwell in it eternally. So this is the type of knowledge that certain factions of the Anunnaki meant to eradicate on this earth. You shall know them by the fruits of their labor. What goes into the storehouse must come out. So that is really all you need to know about this person, that person, until they, you encounter them in one manner or another through their speech. It may be videos. You, you will get an energy reading from those people. Some people don't get good get energy readings from me. I've been told. I've had comments. I'm not that style I, I'm not their style I don't know but what does ultimately factor into all of this is how you on your soul path with your journey how your frequency resonance the consciousness of your frequency resonance how it responds to any of these entities and that ultimately is all that matters and so this knowledge that I read from you and share from you with these emerald, uh, uh, emerald tablets, these, these CDs, CDT plates, what have you, this is knowledge that is perennial, cosmic consciousness. And those who wish to enslave and perpetuate a her hierarchy of darkness and domination and setting themselves up, and it's usually through the ego, the devil is ego, Satan is your ego, Ego is illusion. Ego is separation. Ego is inky, in my estimation. And that is just my reading. Damn me if you will. Praise me if you want. Ultimately, it is my consciousness that dictates the quality of my reality. And if that resonates with you, hit the subscribe button, leave this video a thumbs up, and stay tuned for further information disseminations from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for compassion and strength and frequency resonance. Namaste. Namaskaram.